Hey everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to another Captain's Vlog. Um, it is April 12th, and this week has been uh, kind of slow, but there's a couple announcements I do need to make, and I do want to make uh, today, right now. As some of you may know, and some of you may not know, uh, PewDiePie recently put out a video a couple days ago uh, announcing his new shout-out contest. And... I'm very nervous because I applied for it. Uh, you know, I sent out a video to him, um, sent him my channel URL, and you know he's gonna review all these and and announce a winner. And I'm fucking nervous. I am so fucking nervous because I got a lot of insecurities that I may not make clear on my videos. Um, but I do. I have a lot of insecurities, especially about YouTube. Um, I know I'm not bad. Do I think I'm good? Depends on the day. But I'm really nervous that there's going to be thousands upon thousands, probably more, you know, tens of thousands, um, sending their, their videos in, sending their links in, and he's going to review them. Like, it's, it, it's something that makes me nervous because if I was to win, it would change everything. And I know already, I have visualized, I can I can see what it would be like you know, to be able to just make whatever content I want, to be able to sit down and record whenever I want, to be able to help other YouTubers, be, be able to get people off the feet and just have an influence, like a real influence over this community and over over content and over my life. So yeah, so I sent out Narcosis to, to PewDiePie and it makes me nervous that he's gonna watch it. Like he's gonna watch it and regardless of what, whether I win or not, like he's going to watch one of my videos. And the fact that he, I just knowing that he's gonna, he's gonna scroll by, I'm going down the list, and he's like, okay, time for the Dorian show or wh whatever the fuck this name is. And then he's gonna click it, and he's gonna watch this video, and like, just the idea that he's gonna know I exist, um, is both surreal, exciting, and nerve wracking all at the same time. It's this weird combination of emotions that's just fucking with me now until until he makes the announcement until one way or another i know i'm just nerve-wracking and like it's not going to change it i'm going to be on youtube either way i've been on youtube for two years now and i'm just now starting to get viewers and subscribers and i spent a long time making videos for the sake of getting better and for the sake of people watching me and enjoying them but with the intent of growing um, and then having nothing happen. I spent two years making videos with no reaction to from pretty much anybody, to be honest. So I'm not gonna stop making videos now or anytime soon because, you know, I'm kind of making them for myself as well. But it's still like just, it's getting to me like that anxiety of, you know, like I could, I could make this my life and the idea that I could I could live as a creator, you know, I, I could move to an area more dense with artists and creators and I could create and I could collaborate and I could actually explore, you know, my imagination and, 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 and all of that. It's just, it's a dream. So enough enough about PewDiePie. Um, the other thing I wanna talk about is, is an actual announcement. The channel now has an editor. That's ah, yay. Awesome. Um, it's still something that I'm trying to wrap my head around. Um, as three months ago, four months ago now, yeah, four months ago, um, I was sitting, you know, at 100, under 100 subscribers. Nobody knew my channel existed, and now I have a decently growing fan base. I'm getting subscribers. I now have an editor. Um, I'm getting messages from people outside of YouTube being like, hey, you want to do some collaborations? Hey, you know, I heard you do YouTube. Like, we're starting to spread by mouth um, in my area. So the idea of having an editor wasn't something, I mean, it's something I always wanted and something I always thought about. And I was like, oh my God, it would help so fucking much. And it would really, really take a lot of pressure off. And I don't 
feel confident in my editing skills and so having someone who's like really proficient in that would be amazing for the channel because then I could focus on the commentary and the comedy and they could focus on the editing and the editing comedy and it would just be this perfect blend and you know I thought about it so much a couple months ago and I was like you know when I get bigger I really really want to pay for an editor I really want to hire on an editor that's what I wanted didn't really tell people because I thought you know it's so far out it's so far out like I have to have 100,000, 200,000 subscribers. I have to be making decent money, living in LA, whatever. But here we are, we have a sub. Uh, I mean, we have an editor. Um, her name is Rachel, she's Little Red Speaks. You see her on the stream, she's one of the moderators for the streams. Um, see her all over my Twitter, cause she's all constantly sending stuff at me and she probably will after watching this. And then there'll be a link in the description to her channel, um, Little Red Speaks. Um, she actually, uh, makes YouTube videos as well. Still starting off, so you know, go give her some support on there. She already edited one video, the Narcosis one. Um, she's gonna be editing this entire Narcosis series. Um, so make sure to definitely check that out because she's doing some amazing work on there. But yeah, so this is this is a wild year. This is a wild year so far. Um, when I started this year, I think I made a vlog talking about my goals and I don't remember what they were to be honest I remember one was making a thousand videos and I realize now that even with an editor I just can't do it I'll kill myself I can do it but I they won't be good videos if I was to put out two videos a day for the next year um, I could but they would not be the quality you guys deserve and that's that's kind of why I like the idea of <laughs> of that contest of just the far chance of winning that contest would be great because I would be able to quit my job after I start making some money on YouTube and I'd be able to dedicate myself every day to putting out, you know, two quality videos for you guys and still be able to sleep and have a life, even though like even the life I'm able to manage now is still very, very, very small. I see my parents once a week. I see my girlfriend twice a week. That's, that's my life outside of YouTube. And I, th I sit here and I think, and I don't know if I'll ever, if I'll ever have a million, two million subscribers. People tell me they, they think I can. I don't know if, they, if they're blind or if they're, if they're right. I don't know. It's hard for me to imagine because I think it's hard for anyone to imagine themselves being successful when they're not successful. Louis CK, I watched an interview with him on Colbert and he was talking about how you know he's been he's been a stand-up comedian for 32 years something like that and he's been he's been successful for four of them you know everybody knows louis ck but he's in a really good spot right now and that's kind of being an entertainer in any form it's a lot of time by yourself a lot of time doing it because you enjoy it and someday just by raw raw statistics you're gonna you're gonna make it i guess or die or give up but yeah so we got an editor and we're at 340 subs and we're at just about to hit what oh uh, uh can, yeah yeah you can come in. legit just had the bug sprayer guy come in in the middle of that sentence and i felt so awkward because my room is literally the messiest it's ever been in my life there's there's legit chick-fil-a just sitting on the floor right there i haven't had time to clean it it is disgusting i i am honestly disgusted by my own room and having other people come in and you know have to walk around it doesn't help but anyways um so so yeah that's actually gonna wrap it up for for the video um because i completely lost my train of thought but you guys are great thank you for all the support like i said we're at 340 subs now um just about to hit 50,000 channel views and my let's plays are actually starting to get some views on them which was what I hoped would happen you know I was like I don't want to put out too many reactions because I don't want this to become a reaction channel and me to lose you know the content that I love but I wanted to put it out there enough to get enough you know eyes that people would start watching the let's plays and hopefully the let's plays themselves would be able to t start taking off and I mean, I went from, you know, five or six months ago having, I mean, at most like 10 views on a, on a let's play to having around 20. And sometimes I'll hit that like special, like 50, 50 views on a let's play. So, um, we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep getting better. Um, and we're going to be here for you guys every single day. Cause I love you.
All right. You guys have a good rest of your day. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.